So, I, I'm recording Southpaw Hair vs. Mad King now, so you guys can talk right. about that if you want. Uh, I need to run upstairs real quick. What's it looking like? It's game one, Quince Geiger. Nothing has happened yet. Block, block. How, dodge, dodge. How close? How close was your set last time? How well is Mad King playing? Uh, he's playing pretty well. I'm, I'm just really salty because I basically lost game one to my draw, because I had like two or three block dodges and then just got nothing but attacks and throws and just had to eat like 50 damage in the vortex for no reason. Yeah. It's okay, Razzy. I lost game two to a misplay. Oh, what did you do? Um, he did a weird two truths called throw and on four cards. So instead of just throwing anyway, because I had A in the back, I didn't do that and oh. eventually got checkmated. Oh. Apparently, Guybrush is still in it, so Redless's Dark Horse pick might win. Really? Yep. yep. Oh, wow, he beat Leontes 3 2. Jeez. Yep. Skybrush Gloria, man. Secret top tier. Dude, I wanted to play the Ditto. At least I knocked mm. Clan out. Fuck Croc. Okay, I'll be right back. My Rook was almost real, Riker. Rook isn't a real character, dude. I went 1 1 against the other not real character. And then for some reason I switched to Purse. You deserve it, Mad King. Oh. I really hope Mad King wins this. I want more tournament evidence that this matchup is not Geiger favored. Well, since we're being recorded, I believe you can offer some more insight. Because I don't have anything to say except talking about Rook stuff. And that's not important to this match. Well, basically... I bl okay, common consensus says Geiger is like Quince's worst matchup. Oh. That I'm like 100% sure is a load of bull. However, Geiger does have some strong traits versus Quince. Uh, temporal distortion, since J is a superior combat option uh, than anything Quince has aside from AA and Joker. Oh. It's absolutely terrifying. Quince can just die after doing really well. However, the issue with that line of thinking is that it wants Geiger to be able to do two things that Quince will only allow him one. Oh, that's a good split. Actually, he probably should have split something else. Don't know what's in his hand. But, um... I probably would have swapped the J with the 5 there... Maybe? No, the thing that, no, no, that makes sense. <laughs> the thing that Geiger wants to do is he wants to block so that he has enough cards to make TD threatening. But if he does that, then it doesn't matter how dominant your J is in neutral, right? Because if you do that, if you're just blocking, then you allow Quince to beat you with any throw. Um... And once Quince hits you, his K is what forces you to pick one of two things. Either you can wait and play for Temporal, just, to, just uh, thinking that Quince will run out of gas before he kills you and you will get your chance to blow him up. Or you play your 4s and your 8s, which sustain your... Uh, which sustain your... Temporal threat. And... Quince then doesn't have to deal with Temporal because you played his four, your fours and your eights in order to beat K. So he Why only has four King... sevens. That's the big deal. What would Mad King reveal that there? Oh, you found it. Okay, never mind. I'm I'm gone again. My dad found the eyeglass <laughs> screwdriver to open my 3DS base plate. <laughs> That's 
That seems like a waste of a tin to call attacks there. You should probably call block, I guess. Well, when you reveal J, you know that uh, that throw is what beats the thing that beats J. So calling attack is saying that you won't beat this. He was trying to get the three cards, I think. Okay, I'm back again. What's it looking like? There's the J. Even, which is Geiger favor. Uh, yeah, basically. Even enough. Uh, Mad King is now working to try to get in again. Having a time of it. Drew, you lost Zane Geiger against Siku? He hit me with Anarchy twice. Oh. Mostly silent. Well. Yeah, uh, Zane sometimes does that. Yep. And then I almost lost it with Purse and hit him once. Oh. You're grounded again. This game's looking to be trouble. If you if Geiger's keeping the game like this, you want him to be down about three more cards. And I think Mad King is about to die. Moderately soon. There's Jay. I hope Mad King has his patented burst. Yeah. Well, he's well. been through 20... He's been through about half of his deck and hasn't played one yet, so... Yeah. I'd say there's a fairly good chance he has one. I think you play into the burst 100% of the time in Southpaw, though. I, I agree. You just drop the J on the table and say, hey, this is a good card. Hey, check it out. Good card. And Quince is like, I, I, I can see that. I wish I had cards that good. Yeah. But two is kind of good. So. Oh. Nope. We're up. Well, getting past that Joker that may or may not exist probably not considering the block came out instead of the Joker uh, would win Southpaw the game just right there yeah. I mean I also figure Southpaw might be willing to just kind of or Mad King was willing to take that risk and he gets thrown another consideration that I've been eating and talking theory I don't actually know the composition of um, that hand right there I will find out next game. I was going game. to say, the reason that he dodged, uh, dodged might have been because he didn't have the damage. But... Not so sure about that. Okay, so we'll, we'll find out his adjustment the next game. Mad King, you're not allowed to, to fucking beat me and then lose the Southpaw here. That's not acceptable. Well, we're about to see if it's going to be actual or not. Get it together and just beat this man. See, I'm cheering for Mad King because I want more proof that the matchup is what I think it is. But in my heart of hearts, I want Southpaw to win. Why? Because Geiger. No. Oh. You used to play. Southpaw just has some questionable lingo <sighs> that will not appear on this commentary. Right? Personally, I'm a little bit of a fan of Ty. I'm kidding. Good throw to start game one. Well, see, that's the thing. Geiger wants cards, and you can get cards, but you're going to open yourself up, and if you try and get cards, eventually you're getting thrown. And when you get thrown, Quint sometimes just runs you over. <laughs> okay, so here, just assume for a minute that Quince plays the Q. You still have to play to your read and kind of ignore that... Uh, uh, tax on attacks but if you swing an attack and Quince draws two cards and spins the cue to draw a third that's not bad for Geiger Geiger doesn't really care how many cards are in Quince's hand he's more concerned with what's in his hand and him getting a normal off would you know, give him a card that right. however is what I'm saying you gotta play to your read what do you think is gonna happen and that was very good yeah
Mad King wanted the extra spicy payoff, which was he swung into my dodge and gave me two cards. The old degreed play? Mm hmm. Uh, ouch. Flash gear, wake up. What was the point in the wake up J there? What did that beat? Cross up normals? Cause I, I feel like it was just as likely that South Pod just played like J throw. We get rip cornetted there. Is that what happened? Hello? Anybody? Drew, you should probably you just go. let me host it. It's not me, it was Jew. Jew was hosting? Yes. Huh. But, um, what I was going to say is, uh, what I was noting earlier is that the only two throws that Southpaw has lost are his 9 and his 10, which are the ones that don't beat K. And he's managed to keep the game very close. Ooh, well, wow. He's managed to keep the game very close and at the same time has a uh, quince with similar life and lower cards you gotta not let quince have a jo joker even if that means giving him you know two aces and and, uh, and a queen you know not that that's theoretically possible but um the joker's the only way out Can't he consent fast time spiral? Theoretically, but if you look at the way Mad King played last game, he was constantly playing aces for the neutral card. Hmm. As long as Quince doesn't get knocked down, Quince is fine, but... Right now, Southpaw is in a very strong position. And Quince usually, inevitably, gets knocked down. Also, you should probably hang up on other people that are still ringing. Is it bothering you? No, I can't hear it. I'm, I'm just saying maybe the fact that they haven't answered yet, you should probably just hang up. There we go. I'm unsure how to feel about this Mad King trash talk. Is he just trying to get in his head or what? I, I think he's just bantering with Southpaw because Southpaw started it. I think Mad King might also be legitimately salty a little. Mad King's so, salty whenever he loses around. Yeah. It's not quite a nice draw, but maybe <laughs> almost there. <laughs> Changes tag from Mad King to Salt Czar. Salt Czar? I like it. Salt Czar. I would also have accepted changing his name from Mad King to Nice Draw. <laughs> There's a spin hit. 
Trampling Geyser. Now, Mad King needs to do his best to not fall down. Where the hell are all the K reveals? Does he even have a K? You saw that, uh... You saw that 8 throw come out from Southpaw? That's an attempt to knock Mad King over and just kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Mad King needs to be careful to keep pairs in his hand, I think. He might be sitting on pocket aces, though. There's none in his, he's none in his discard. He must not have had another spin card. I know Mad King likes J-Spin more than me, but he must not have had another spin card after the first one connected. Yeah, because I don't know why he just wouldn't take a spin, take the chip, take a spin, if you have it. I mean, Geiger already has 11 cards. 12 wouldn't hurt you much more. I get the impression Mad King probably does not have a king. Yeah. I don't think he even has a Q. Oh, uh, Mad King's hand must be utter garbage right now. He might be sitting on pocket aces, which would make that hand significantly better because it would give him a way out. Oh, boy. Oh, now I think he might have to be guessing he, soon. Ah, uh, he didn't want to reveal Qs because he... Well, or maybe he just drew that, I'm not sure. But I would not be surprised if the reason we didn't see another spin is because he wanted to save the Qs in case he didn't get another pair. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't be wrong. So... Consent if you've like, got a Joker, I think, but otherwise won't do it now. It's like throw J from the Geiger, probably. Throw or J. Yeah, that's the 100% uh, range if it doesn't have a burst. Well, not 100% because there's a uh, consent. Yeah, he's trying not to get hit with consent, which is a noble pursuit. Wouldn't be surprised to see an odd stack with that 8 if he has a pair. Ah, stack the 10s up. You can turn those tens into an ace if he needs to. Yep. He probably wants to play them as abilities, though. Once he gets out of this. If he gets out of this. Sometimes you just end up exploding. We'll see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That face down better be fake. Oh boy. That's a bad feel. Near the tens. Okay. So he's got please don't explode me consent. He just has to not fall down again, which is entirely. I think possible. I just mash it as quince. I probably I think would as he's well. about to get uppercutted. I think he's about to get but flash gear. It's a or, or, yeah, yeah, flash gear. Yeah. Uh, well, either way, I think Quince is about to hold that. This is a very, very terrible situation for Quince, because Geiger can be wrong as long as he doesn't take damage. And, okay. Uh, Quince is, Quince is standing now, but he's still not out of the woods. That 10 has been, or that 4 has been up for so long for Geiger. Do in between games, I'm gonna message Jister Thilo and let them know we're ready. Okay. I don't think we've all ever talked what we're doing with this set. No, we haven't yet. We will talk after this set, probably. Hey, he's out of the woods. For the moment. He hasn't been mashing Mad King. Right. Oh, well, here comes another four. There's no way that he doesn't have another one over here. <laughs> Go over there and make him. Good answer. Positive spin Q? No. Probably doesn't have another face card. He just powered up two Ks. And two J. Please do my special. If he puts up the 
If he puts up what's a face, he should do the Jushichi special. Reveal Q Gold Burst? Yep. I would not do that in this situation. Oh no! This is terrible. Oh no! I was saying, if you put up a temporal distortion uh. factor, not in neutral, and now this gets real awkward. Oh no. Does he have not have a J, you think, since the AA came out earlier? Uh, Unless he's drawn one in the interim? He probably has one back there. Oh, okay. Well, Mad King can block pretty safely, I would say. If he has one. Yeah, because there's he no He probably can't left. die because three Qs were gone as well. What? Why? Why? Mm. Thought Geiger was waiting. Also, he just Ooh. powered up to uh, three sevens. Oh no, two sevens. That that's a, still a really costly combat loss. Oh no. Yeah, I I'm not entirely sure why you just. If there's don't. another face card back there, like that AA wins as Time Spiral Hurricane into a block. That that there's another any card back there. Not any two and three won't do it. That uh. That was the play that, like, lost Mad King the game, though. Like... If he loses. He lost. Yeah. I don't think he ever, uh... Ah, uh, no answer to Time Spiral Hurricane. Uh, I think that was a nice draw. Did anybody else see that nice draw? Yeah, that was definitely a nice draw. Come on, Mad King. Pull yourself together. Then maybe so, switch characters or something. Do we see a mad switch? This does not mm -hmm. bode well for his claims about this matchup. Yeah. Those are mine. He said it's still got your favorite, but closer than as bad as it is. My, he's not been able to play. I think I've seen K spin once, and it was in the first game. Well, he also has not been taking any sort of risks on his spin turns to keep momentum. Like, he's been playing all of his stuff normal. So he's been all his honest politician, Quince? Yeah, he's been all his, He's been honest politician, Quince. Honest politician, Quince is pretty low tier, I think. Oh, I think I that. And that's a good start. I would say that Honest Politician Quince is the normal Quince. He's always honest. Mad King needs so... to settle down a little bit, I think. He's making himself look foolish. Don't attack. I mean, you still play, play like, the road dodge, I guess. Oh. Uh. Well. Uh, I think Mad King probably has lost himself this set, but we'll see. I mean, it's hard to hard to make that claim without watching it mm. play out. I have a pretty good sense of momentum, but sure. And he is scooped by the 7 throw, beating out his 8 throw. Where the fuck will these screws not come out? Legs to attack. This is probably not a burst. Actually, it could be. For whatever reason, my uh, Google Chrome is frozen up, so I can't see. You disconnect. Yeah, I just. Checked. What's happening? Uh, oh. he, he played a J into Flagstone attacks. Wake up six. So Mad King takes eight damage, but gets two cards. Yo, oh, and it's standing. It's hard to call like Flagstone attacks that intimidating. Because it only goes plus one in the end, at the end of the day. You have to discard the flagstone tax in order to play it. It's it's a uh, one in a cycle. A 
wise man once said, I'm really feeling it. Let's see if Southpaw's about to make an ass of himself. Got thrown! Good job. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean... You know. I'm really feeling it. God damn it, Mad King. I really don't think being so aggressive like this suits Mad King. Yeah, I don't know. Why in the world is Unity Player still running when my browser is not? And I told it to cut off twice. Uh, I'm gonna check the other semi-final match. And it is Gloria Setsuki. And Guy brushes up 2-0. <laughs> what? The youngest. Th does that mean uh, we, so Does that mean we might see Gloria Well, I guess it would be Gloria Zane rather than Gloria Geiger. Yeah. We're gonna see He's Gloria not... and a matchup that no one wants to see played. No, that's gonna be Zane. Gloria Zane. Nobody wants to see that. I don't know. I've seen Guybrush win it before, so I don't know. We'll see. Winnable? Yes. But not pretty. Zane Troc is winnable too. I feel like you still throw him anyway. Yep. There we go. I can see again. Do we have a spin coming? Good throw. Oh, wow. Seeker gets 10 thrown on Loria's wake throw. Wake up. Wow. Oh, he good. He played defensively. Oh, my goodness. He almost got throw a aid into overdose, which would have basically almost killed. Basically almost. Uh, he would have had 5 HP Oof. left, which Spin would have it. more or less killed him. There's the 8. See, this is a very different position. One in which the life totals are very similar, but Geiger only has 6 cards. Now Seeker... Well, both of them can die in one combat. Good dodge. We got uh, block on block action in here. I'd actually probably let that rock. No, okay. Seekers on the board with a dodge into quad A suit sets. Wow. 2 1, guy brush. Good throw. He's been get, he's been finally catching those throws he's been trying to play so aggressively with. Southpaw South South hair must not have one of those hashtag nice draws. I Is guess this, Mad King also doesn't have a hashtag. Unless, nice draw. unless I missed one, this could be the fifth. Uh, J spin in a row. There's the J. Spin it. Uh, three other three other spirals in the discard. Doubt this is lethal. Could be. He needs like three and an AA. Where did my SD card go? I'm playing super scared of getting thrown by Southpaw. I mean, I think you could see the seven come out. And Mad King's variation hasn't. Oh! 
as I say that, well, he did go for a variation play. But... I'm not sure I'd face down there even with uh, AA behind it. Well, yeah. maybe he's, try he's trying to get the AA out because it's temporal distortion. If the AA comes out, it's 20 damage on Burstable, but he's not knocked down. That 8 damage could be enough to kill him, though. AA into, uh... Okay, let's say, let's say he gets it off of... If I'm scared of dying to a J here, if I don't have an answer, I'm blocking. That way he loses out on 7 damage. Or he loses out on, uh, 17. GG. Does he have four aces in his hand? Was it really? That's the hashtag nice draws. Yeah, he has four aces. Oh. Where did he get those? What a hand. Holy shit. Nice draws. 3-0. I would say uh, right Give there. us a pun. <laughs> Good pun. Uh, well, good or bad, I win. I would uh, say that final term salt. turn is a misplay. Ah, the salt is real. Oh, wow. We had a triple ace get blown up by a ninpo from Guybrush versus Seeker. Going into AA. Looks like Seeker's really kind of storming back here. <laughs> 